Morning everyone. Wednesday morning. We're back at it. It is another glorious, bright, sunny day. It's only 7 a.m. Getting out, getting some morning cardio done. Um, back nice and early. Back here. One of our usual spots, usual walk that I like to do in the morning. So I hope everyone's having an amazing week. I hope you've really uh, smashed some goals this week. I hope you've managed to ooze some positivity and I hope you've taken away some really good help, advice, fitness stuff from our channel this week. If you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe. If you're watching this, you haven't hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up. We get loads of likes and hardly ever th hardly any thumbs up. So make sure you give us a little thumbs up as well because it helps the algorithms a little bit. So what we're gonna talk about today and this week, week three of becoming unfucking stoppable. <laughs> week three of our little program that we're writing is gonna be about sleep. Um, so, good sleep, how does good sleep come from? People seem to think good sleep is just getting an early night. Good sleep is not just about getting an early night. Good sleep is not just about bedtime. Good sleep is about throughout the day, thinking what you're consuming your energy levels, how much you're doing, whether you're snoozing in the day. So there's loads of things that you can do to help with sleep. I don't know there's people that have got sleep disorders and I've always said, when we're talking about stuff here, when the fitness switch is talking about stuff, we're talking about general population, regular, everyday general people. Um, because we do get a lot of comments saying, oh yeah, but you're saying that I can do squats and I'm in a wheelchair. Well, yeah, obviously, if your legs, if you can't use your legs and you can't do squats, it stands to reason. So I think one of the big things for me, especially when I was struggling a little bit with low mood, that was really affecting my sleep and I never thought about, was the fact that I was having little snoozes in the day. Snoozes in the day really aren't good. So if that's, come on Lexi, if that's one thing that you do, then try and eliminate day snoozes. When you feel a bit sleepy in the day, go drink some water, go for a little one to get some fresh air, do something, come on Lexi please, do something to try and avoid having that snooze in the day. Another thing that is, can be a big contributor is those of you that don't have to be up to go to work, staying in bed till late, don't do that. There's a big, there's a massive benefit to getting up early. And even now when I've got to be at work, I've started getting up an extra half an hour early now to implement a good morning routine. And a good morning routine is also something that is really going to help with your sleep patterns because you'll go to bed earlier so you can get up earlier. So you can adopt your routine, which will set you up for the day, set you in good stead then, ready for bedtime. So what other things can you do? Obviously, the big one, and this is something that a lot of people don't do, and you're all gonna be conscious of this, is turn your devices off. Turn them off an hour before you want to go to bed. And this is something that I don't practice what I preach, but I don't have problems sleeping. So yeah, devices, something that I don't necessarily practice what I preach. And like I say, I don't necessarily have massive problems sleeping. Um, but what I have started doing is journaling at night, so I do turn my devices off. I try and turn them off at 10 o'clock so I can journal, and then I can be ready to be in bed by half past 10. It doesn't always work like that because I get carried away <laughs> chatting to people in the Discord or answering questions on YouTube. But I do try and do what I can to um, to eliminate that that screen time. So if I was going to take one, if I was going to take one thing away from today's little chat about sleep, it would be that screen time at bedtime. And not just your devices, your TV, whatever. Switch it all off. Come away from electronics an hour, half an hour before you want to go to bed whether you have a nice relaxing bath or whether you have a nice relaxing bath or whether you read a book, whether you write your journal, just something to help wind down. 
switch off, help your brain start to settle down. Um, think about your caffeine intake as well throughout the day. Maybe try and replace some of your tea or coffee with a couple of glasses of water. That's a good way to get your hydration up, something that we've talked about in the past. So you'll get your hydration up, you'll bring your caffeine down. That's another good little tip for you. See how full of these little tips. Anyway, I think that'll do for today. We'll talk some more about sleep tomorrow. If you've got any questions, if there's any anything burning, if there's any burning questions that you've got, please drop them in the comments. If you want to give us a thumbs up. Tell your friends, we've had loads of amazing, amazing feedback from new subscribers, from old subscribers this week. Some really kind words about how good our channel is, how much people enjoy us. Someone even said yesterday in the stream, and I'm not sure that they even knew that I was in the live stream reading the comments, that we was their favorite UK based channel on YouTube, which is a massive honor. Um, so thank you very much guys. Thank you for continuing to watch us. Thank you for continuing to support us. Remember if there's anything you specifically want to see or know, you can always drop us a message. You can always drop me a, an email. My email's on my about page. You can comment. I'll try and answer every comment that comes through. But we are getting more and more every day, so it is getting a little bit more difficult. Um, but other than that, go out there on Wednesday. Enjoy halfway through the week. Start looking forward to and planning for the weekend. Achieve your goals, guys. <laughs>